With a peace in my hand and bloodshot eyes I walk to the water for a last goodbye He begged so much, it clouded my mind One thing's clear, the man's gotta die Man makes right, so he said When he held all the keys over our head I lived in that grip, but now he'll learn At the end with the tables turned Lord, forgive me Take me on Down the river where the guilt can't find A red hand is center On Where the grave can't cry out Cause I done wrong Down the river with a hand on a colt And a finger on the trigger And The old melon test you're probably not going to believe what you see, but this is just a truck bed liner. The same stuff they spray in the back of pickup trucks, but this isn't just any truck bed liner. This stuff is called bullet liner. This is like the next level of truck bed liners, and today we're going to be doing a ton of crazy stuff with this that you just, you've got to see it to believe it. But we're going to find out more about what this actually is by interviewing the head honcho of Bullet Liner and find out where it came from and how it got developed. So without wasting any more time, let's have some fun, let's smash some stuff, and let's just find out exactly what this stuff is. I'm not shy. I'm not shy either. Well, that liner never hurt. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Josh. So, Josh, you're one of the main guys that. I'm the uh, national business manager at Bullet Liner. Okay, how? So, what is the difference from Bullet Liner to other, other stuff? So, I think what the big difference between Bullet Liner and the our leading competitors is we're not a franchise. Okay. Um, so our customers buy the equipment. They buy the chemical and we support them. Um, no royalties, no contracts, no franchise fees. And we, they're buying the chemical direct from the manufacturer, so. Okay, so if there's no royalties, no franchise fees, then they can apply a better product for... Better price. A better price. Because right, we're not getting kickbacks on it, you know. They but buy. is your product better? Yes, and I know it's biased coming from me a little bit. Yeah. A lot of and a lot of our dealer network have sprayed other products in the past because you know Bullet Liner is only eight years old. This industry is thirty years old. Okay. So a lot of our customers came from other industry or other uh, products, and they'll they'll all tell you. I mean, the sprayability of Bullet Liner is unmatched. Okay. It, it, it sprays better. It dries faster. It textures faster. Um, the shore hardness is fantastic. You can actually feel the difference between our product and other products, and then. You know, our reputation kind of speaks for itself online. Our customer service with these guys like Mark, the shop owner here. Yep. You know, that's, that's really key. We've grown to almost 275, 280 dealers. All right. So, so if guys were interested in actually becoming a dealer, mm -hmm. what would they do? Uh, so you can go to bulletliner.com, and there's a tab at the top that says dealer. Okay. And there's and you can either locate or become a dealer. So oh. you fill out the information. It'll go straight to our email inbox. We have a 
really good sales package with a video that kind of explains the nuts and bolts of this business. And uh, as easy as that. All right. Our customer base is hand chosen by us. We don't just take a check from anybody. If it's not a good fit for our brand and what our goals are, okay. you know, we, we part ways. So all of our guys are really good. Um, the customer service is fantastic. And I think that's key for this industry more than anything else. So we give them a good product so they don't you know fall flat on their face and then they do the rest. Has your product evolved and improved from other products? Yes. Um, I would say we looked at our previous company and uh, saw where the customer complaints might have been. Okay. You know, UV stability is big in this industry, right? Okay. Um, so our product won't chalk out. It'll stay nice, rich, deep black. Now, you've got two types of products. You've got an aromatic and an aliphatic. Okay, so aromatic products are not UV stable. Um, aer aliphatic products are UV stable, but you're talking four or five X the price. Okay, so you have to find that medium where these guys can still make good money. It's set at the industry price of about four to five hundred dollars for a bed liner, um, but still have a good product after six months to two years, whatever, in the sun. Um, so our product will lose some of its shine, mm -hmm. just being honest with you, but it'll always be black. And you know the older bed liner, the older technology where you rub your hands on it and you get that chalky residue? Mm -hmm. We got rid of that. So, And you can spray your product thinner and still get the same amount of protection yes. if I'm understanding things yeah. right. So we spec our product in between 80 and 100 mils across the bed. Okay. So um, I think the leading competitor is at 125 mils and I'll be honest, that's a, I think it's a little overkill. Um, okay. But they're also gaining royalties and you know everything off the chemical purchases so they want you to spray it as thick as possible. Oh, that's the benefit. And lighter... I mean, is there really a benefit to going lighter than No, I, I'm a big fan. 100 mils is great. You get great strength at that thickness. Okay. And you're not, you get a little bit more trucks out of, you know, each drum set you buy. So that increased the profitability for the actual shop owner here. So. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. But we do, at that thickness, 80 to 100 mils, you're going to get a lifetime warranty on the bed liner. So. A lifetime warranty? Lifetime warranty, as long as you own that vehicle. What does that mean, though? That means chips, scratches, bubbles, flakes, anything like that happens. You call corporate or you call the dealer, and we're going to cover it and fix it for you. Either one. Yeah. So let's say a guy gets it applied in Montana, yes. and then he drives to Florida. Moves to Florida. Moves to right. Florida, and he still has that truck. He doesn't have to go back to Montana to no, get it so fixed? No, so what he would do is he would call us, say, hey, you know what? I, I threw a shovel in there maybe a little too hard. It took a little chip out of it. I want to get this fixed. I would call the local dealer down there, actually fix it and make sure the customers. So, care. I mean, that's like for bed liners too. That's for the bed liners. Really? Yep. I mean, I was I could see like for the outside, like we're doing on my Jeep, because it's not going to be a get. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not going to use. Wear and tear. Yeah, right, right, right. But a bed liner. So we do lifetime warranty on personally owned light duty pickup trucks. So an F three fifty, if you yes. own it, if I own it, and I just use it for my own stuff. Yep. Hey, if it ever goes bad, you guys take care of 100%. it? That's insane. Yep. Holy crap. All right. I've never actually heard that. But does anybody else offer that? Yeah. It's kind of an industry standard. Oh, is it? Yeah. So there's other companies that actually offer that? Oh, I have no clue. Now, whether they honor that and you know, pull through with that, that's a different question. All right. That's a well, good. Question. All right. Thanks, Josh. Yep. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely. All right. We got a ton coming at you guys we're gonna be doing some really crazy stuff yes dude we are gonna be we're gonna build a wall then we're gonna to try to smash through the wall with a sledgehammer and if we can't smash through with a sledgehammer we're gonna take a forklift through it and we're gonna do whatever else we want to this is going to be awesome so you guys make sure you stick around and we're actually going to be uh, doing my entire Jeep I want to show you guys this the entire thing there she is sneak peek So now that it's sprayed, let's see how tough this stuff actually is. 
Let's do this thing. Try to hit in that column where the middle one is. Okay. Dang, that's not even denting this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Holy crap. You're making the blocks fly. Getting your cardio in for the morning? <laughs> Bottom. Oh, that's insane. That's insane. So as tough as this stuff looks, it's not even at full strength when we did this video. It takes 24 hours for it to fully cure to get up to optimum strength. We did this after about 12 hours. So if we gave it a full day to cure, it would be actually even stronger than this. That's bullet liner. This is our standard truck bed liner formula. This is not our pure polyurea that everybody else does the videos with, you know, industrial grade. This is what we're putting in the back of everyday trucks, so. All right, so guys, Josh was pretty skeptical about a lot of the stuff we wanted to do today. And Josh, he's the, the one of the heads for bullet liner. Um, and you said you've seen it all? Have you seen it? We, you... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I thought I did. Um, you know, usually when we do these tests, like I said, full cure on this product is about 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so it'll continue to gain strength every hour. I mean, we just sprayed that melon an hour, an hour ago. Yep. You know, <laughs> and uh, we just ran a three quarter ton diesel over it. So I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. That's crazy. All right, you guys. Well, you guys got to tell me in the comments down below. We had a ton of fun today, man. The guys from Bullet Liner, Josh flew all the way up from Florida to Michigan. Mark with MJR Custom Undercoatings. Did I say that right this time? Custom Coatings and Bull Honor Flint. In Flint, Michigan, you guys, if you're around this neck of the woods, come and check out his shop, Bullet Liner. My opinion, these guys aren't gonna say it, this is the best liner on the market, and I think you guys can see that today. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below. God bless you guys, and go get them.